Here at home now, new at 11, hundreds of students from Deerfield Beach High gathered for a prayer vigil tonight. They're dealing with the terrible loss of senior Bryce Gowdy just days ago. His death has been ruled a suicide. Reporter Todd Wilson was at the vigil and has our report. As a person, as a student, as an athlete, Bryce Gowdy touched many lives and his coach made it very clear. This young man was much more than an athlete. He was near and dear to his heart with a homelessness. Deerfield Beach football coach Javon Glenn speaks from the heart at a vigil about his player Bryce Gowdy. But he was rated higher as a student than he was as a football player. Glenn says he was close to Gowdy. And our relationship was, you know, a lot of people say, you know, like father, like father, that, that, that was my son and I, and I was, I was his, his guy. Bryce Gowdy was struck and killed by a train Monday, a week before he was due to join Georgia Tech's football team. The Broward County Medical Examiner's Office has determined his death a suicide. Hold on, let's go! This is Gowdy in better times, enthusiastic, energetic, and spirited before and during a game. Friends of his are taking his death hard. He was a very good guy, and he was always there for all his family and all his one of his friends. He was always a motivator. Just to know that he passed away so soon, it touched us. At the time of his death, Gowdy and his family were dealing with tough financial times and homelessness. Coach Glenn says Gowdy worried about leaving his family. He would have had a, a nice apartment, his own room, his own bed, a food allotment, money in his pocket, the whole nine yards. But the uncertainty of what he would have been leaving Shabon, his mother, behind doing, if she would still have that hotel. Glenn says he was blessed to know this young man. He's been a, a blessing upon you know, my life as, as probably more so than I was on his. Bryce Gowdy's funeral will be held here at the high school auditorium January 11th at 1 p.m. It is open to the public. In Deerfield Beach, Todd Wilson, WPTV News, Channel 5. It is so important for people struggling to know they are not alone. If you or anyone you know is having suicidal thoughts, there is help. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That number is one 800 273 8255 and locally a great resource again available to help at all times you can call 211